How's it going fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So this is kind of an interesting video. We all know Detroit has one of the best pipelines in the NHL with loads of quality prospects in every position. But it takes time to find out what those prospects will turn into and of course where they will find their way into the lineup. So let's take a look into the future and see what a future lineup could look like. Specifically three years into the future just because players will obviously be in different stages of their career, not to mention trades and draft picks could shake up a lineup. So for the purpose of the discussion, it's the end of the 2024-25 season, and there hasn't been a whole lot of trade action, mainly to acquire draft picks. So let's talk about the easiest one, goaltending. With our best prospects being Bednar and Kosa, still a ways away, three years likely isn't enough time for them to take over starting duties. So... I believe Nedeljkovic is still our starter, Kosa has made it to the show and has been a good but inconsistent backup that still has to iron out a few wrinkles out of his game. Bender is in the AHL still developing but also serving as a third string goaltender if injuries start to add up. Now before we move on to the forwards, I want to give a shout out to Eric Stevens who is a regular commenter to the community. We have had tremendous support from you guys and want to start thanking you guys for making the Rebel Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join the discussion with lots of other great fans of this team and sport. So moving on to the forwards, this can be a little bit of a mess. So the first line, I had nothing changing. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Bertuzzi on the left wing, Larkin at center, and Raymond on the right wing. These guys are the best in the system in their positions and have amazing chemistry together. All are young and by this point either in their prime or going to start entering their prime. Second line has some changes. So one of the trades I felt like would have happened is a trade involving Sedina. With the arrival of Rana, Raymond, and Berggren soon coming, and not to mention good players already like Bertuzzi, Fabri, Suter, it doesn't leave too much room for a struggling young winger. So I had Eisenman using Zadina and trading for Thomas Hurdle in an attempt to solve the second line center issue. So on the left wing, I had Jacob Rana. Right wing, I had Jonathan Berggren who's tearing it up in Grand Rapids right now, and then at center, either Thomas Hurdle or a first round draft pick from this year's draft. Assuming the Zadina trade doesn't go through, there are a lot of high-end top centers in this upcoming draft, and if we end up with a top 15 or top 10 pick, you know we will end up with a grade A prospect. Let's move on to the third line. The third line, we have Robbie Fabry on the left wing, Pia Suter at center, and either Carter Major or Cross Hannes on the right wing. Both are young forwards doing well in their leagues, 31 points in 32 games played in the NCAA for Carter Mazur, and 59 points in 47 games played in the WHL for Cross Hannes. But both are still a ways out from making the Red Wings roster. I think one of these two should be on the team starting to make a name for himself by then. If not, then both. Moving on to the fourth line, I actually like this line. It seems like one that could really get some offense going and, and shut down opposition lines. I had Adam Ernie on the left wing, Joe Valeno at center, and Elmer Soderblom on the right wing. So right away, Ernie could be interchangeable with Mitchell Stevens. Both are good young players that have established themselves as bottom six players. Valeno has become very defensively good and has had trouble finding his offense in the NHL. If he can't break out, well, him turning into a Darren Helm slash Luke Glending type of player or center would be great and could become a big X factor come late into the season and playoffs. And then of course the big boy, Elmer Soderblom. Soderblom is making news over in Florida this season and all signs point to him coming over to North America soon and joining the Griffins. By then he should have made his way onto the Wings lineup and even though currently he's on the bottom line, he is used heavily on special teams. Now if you are noticing a player missing, you would be correct. The big 6'6 center, Michael Rasmussen, didn't really have a home in the top 9, and unlike Valeno, who isn't as big, I felt like a team would be willing to pay a higher price and, and hopes a new home and system would help the young center. I had him being acquired for draft picks, no big name players or prospects. Alright, so that leaves us with defensemen. Now, the top line should be pretty obvious. On the left hand side, we have Simon Evanson, who for his age is tearing it up in the SHL and could be challenging for a roster spot as soon as next season. 
Then on the right hand side we have of course the Berlin Wall Mo Cider. Let's face it, we know Cider is going to be holding that spot for years. So moving to the second line, on the left hand side we have the big Swede William Wallander and Philip Ronick on the right hand side. Now I put Wallander over Johansson because of his larger size I felt like he would be able to transition better to the NHL but in the long run I think Johansson could very well prove to be the better NHLer which leads us into the third line which leads us to Johansson on the left hand side on the third line. And on the right, I have Gustav Lindstrom or someone we traded for or signed a free agency. Johansson, well, if he's not on the second line, he's got to be on the third line. And Lindstrom, well, there isn't another right-handed prospect aside from maybe Alex Cotton in the system that seems to be on a path to the NHL and will be there by then. So that is the lineup that I think the Bruins could have by 2024-25 end of the season. Make sure you comment your lineup and thoughts down below. Red Wing Nation was created for Red Wings fans that could come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a hockey fan, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sport. And until next time, lights on the Red Light District.